I've seen so many people, but I never seen people motivated like asylum seekers. Most of them they say, I need a job. What job? They say, any job. And it's very exciting for them to get a job and help themselves. Only if we can support them getting a job and help them uh, contribute to the community. They'll be helping others and be independent. I came from Ethiopia as an international student. And I did a one-year diploma of community service, uh, but I, ha I was unable to complete it because of circumstances changed back home. As an asylum seeker, uh, services you can access, they are very limited. It's a frustration. You don't know who to talk to, uh, what to tell, and you're not sure who to trust. It's fear, uncertainty about your visa or even housing, accommodation, employment. Everything is very hard on top of all the stress you have back home. I was so happy. Um, I didn't believe it and I couldn't believe since I, until I started the job. That was, that was a very good moment for me. And the other good news was the first day I started working at the Brotherhood, I get my permanent resident visa. <laughs> the happiness was like priceless. My colleagues, they are really nice. I'm so lucky to have them all. Uh, I have great manager, supervisor. All of them are just fantastic. They're very supportive, encouraging. They give me freedom to do what I like to do and show what I can do and give me strong feedback, how to improve it and how to do it right. And if I did it right, encourage me to do it more and do great. I was so lucky to have all these people around me, but there are some asylum seekers out there who don't get all those supports and helps who are struggling by themselves. If they're after employment, I strongly advise them to come to BSL. We can refer them to other organizations if they after if they need to improve on their skills or language or trainings. But if they are good enough to apply for jobs or they well in English to communicate, we can help them.